I'm going to be traveling to each seller's house individually and paying them in cash for their completely untested PC hardware. Let's see how it turns out. I overpaid a little on this case. Search continues. Welcome to the all Facebook marketplace gaming PC. Hey guys, hello. We are on the way to pick up the first piece of the puzzle. All right, while we're traveling to the first house, let me go over the rules in place for this PC build to make it a bit more of a challenge. Number one, they have to be all used parts from Facebook Marketplace. Number two, 40 kilometer radius, no postage. Number three, we only have three days to do so. Hi, Marky. Come here, boy. <laughs> no. Add a little bit of drama. And number four, we only have a budget of 800 pounds. So around like $950,000. With that being said, we have arrived. I've just texted her quickly. Uh, hopefully she replies soon. Smooth operation. All right, this worked out pretty well. So before we went to get the case, I messaged like 10 other people about PC parts and it paid off. While we were on the way, somebody messaged about a motherboard bundle. Let's go and check it out. Now on the way. Pulling up at the, uh, at the motherboard guy's house. You feeling good about this one? Uh, just letting him know we just got here and asking if he's the one with the green garage. Win after win today. All right, guys, uh, we'll just go and park up somewhere quick so we can check other parts a bit more. And I'll show you what sort of condition they're in. Hopefully the O11 dynamic uh, glass hasn't smashed because I put it face down, but the case is in near mint condition. A few smudges on it, but I mean, like there's no scratches or anything. I overpaid a little on this case. Guess how much I paid? 100 pounds. Am I proud of it for 100 pounds? How much is it to read? Uh, 140 new. So we saved 40 pounds. Oh. We did drive there. We um, drove there in this car, so we didn't really save any money, did we? We got it on Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> and that's all that matters for <laughs> Right, let's check out the motherboard. I put it on the roof. Don't let the box deceive you. It is not a B550 Tomahawk. Still in the static bag, which is a great sign. Ready? Yeah. Whew. The Tough Gaming X470. Yeah, we have... that on the floor. Don't talk about that. <laughs> Camera back up. And then for the processor, it's the Ryzen 5 3600. Now, oh, it's a generation or so behind, right? But I still feel like it's got enough performance for this PC. We travelled in total, what do you reckon, 20 miles yeah. today? And we managed to score a PC case, a motherboard, a processor, and a processor cooler. These are the standard ones, but they're actually not bad. All right? In one day. <laughs> So very optimistic first day. We got a fair few bits checked off our list. We spent 300 pounds, bringing our budget down to 500. Let's see what tomorrow brings. This is getting pretty tough. I found an SSD overpriced that got 50 pounds for it. And then I see that it, uh, it sold on eBay 10 days ago. So whether he's kept it and he's trying to resell it again, I don't know, but I didn't think it'd be this hard to find genuine parts within like 40 kilometers. Tougher than I thought. And then out of the depths of Facebook hell, our savior emerged. Mm. We're back on track. We have a lead on the card. Uh, it's a little bit older, but at the time it was top of the line. Anyway, uh, let's go. We've got to go get cash out again. Uh, this guy said he's been scammed in the past and he doesn't trust a bank transfer. Uh, I don't blame him. <laughs> see how far this guy's away, yeah? 3.4 miles, <laughs> We strike again, successful. Guy was super nice. Um, you can tell he'd looked after the card. It is a hybrid 1080 Ti. So it has a water cooling radiator, 120 mil one built into it. We paid 200 for it, which I don't think's bad. I think it's the best deal of the series. So 200 pounds for the GPU, best deal of the series. At least I thought. Uh, You'll see why it wasn't late. Anyway, that also means we only have 300 pounds left to get the power supply, RAM, and SSD. It's getting close. Last minute one, we are rushing to get, we are rushing to get some RAM and a PSU. Here they are. These are the Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB. Uh, two kits of 16 gigs, we have 32 in total and 3600 megahertz as well. So it'll be nice and fast for our build, yeah? I paid 135 pounds for these. Being completely honest at this point though, I'm just I'm just glad the guy replied. It was literally the only good set of DDR4 RAM on Facebook. And even better news, while we were out, we also managed to secure a power supply. We are five minutes away from the power supply person's house, which means hopefully we're five minutes away from ending this challenge. All we have to do now is get back and build the PC. 20, 30, 40, 50. 
This is a Corsair RM1000, uh, which is more than enough power for the rig we're building. 1000 watt power supply, fully modular, uh, which means you only need to plug in the cables you need. We paid 90 for it. Mm. I personally would want to pay like 70, yeah, but we have no choice. The main thing is the Facebook Marketplace gaming PC will exist shortly. Go. Cool. <sighs> storage. I forgot the storage. Look, it's been a long day, all right? SSD time. 15 minute drive away. All right, we just got it. And the pickup again went successfully. Um, here it is. We have an 860 Evo 500 gig from Samsung. Uh, I think these things are pretty reliable, correct me if I'm wrong, but it should definitely do for what we need it for. I paid 30 pounds for this and uh, for an SSD, I don't think that's too bad. The girlfriend needs to clean her car, but shh, you should be safe here. Let's build this monstrosity. All right, we've been on a roller coaster, but I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Do the clips. All right, let's throw in a quick voiceover while I'm building. I'm surprised we managed to get this all done for 800 pounds. As I'm sure most of you know, the climate's been tough out there. Looking back, sure, I overpaid for a few parts. I personally think mostly the motherboard and processor, but uh, let me know if you feel different. Marketplace deals are few and far between these days. Anyway, the big question, does it boot? So we're almost there. Um, it needs a few finishing touches. We need to button up a few bits, plug some cables in, and we're finally ready to power it on. Is it the prettiest thing? Uh, um, I really hope this thing works. It's the big moment. It all comes down to this. Oh! <laughs> Making a horrible noise. Yeah, but it boots. Is that a graphics card? We know some of the parts work. I <laughs> don't know what that noise is though. GPU noise aside, at least the system boots. I drowned up the noise with some headphones and ran it for long enough to get Windows installed. Let's get over to the main setup and uh, don't ask questions about the other PC. I mean, Xbox, please. It's complicated. So here it is, the all Facebook Marketplace gaming PC that could. Being honest, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised we got this far. Don't forget that I didn't test any of these parts before trying to boot. We had a minor few hiccups. But the board could have been fried, GPU could have had no signal, anything. I, I'm actually quite happy with it. In total, it cost me a whopping £755 for the spec you see on screen. Now, is it the most efficient build for the money? No. Would I go for all this hardware if I had a little more time? No. But you know what? I'm weirdly attached to it. And does it play Fortnite? Absolutely, and that's the only game that matters. Until next time, friends. Quick update. The GPU's a lot quieter now, but I believe that's because the pump has failed. Temperatures quickly rise to 90 degrees. Um, 